it's funny. The fan base is either so pissed that they <laughs> yeah. draft Kyle Pitts or everyone loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cause I think a lot of people hate on Matt Ryan. And okay. so they're just sick of seeing him in a Falcons uniform. So I think, you know, especially Justin being available, hometown kid, like, go get Justin. See what yeah. he can do. Let's change it up because, you know, <sighs> the last couple of years have been pretty rough. So I just think with – Matt Ryan's contract, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to get Justin Fields right now. Wait until next year, the year after, whatever it may be, to get your quarterback. Uh, but I don't feel like that this is the year right now to get Justin Fields. And if you get him, I can get behind it. But I think it would be smartest right now to get the Pick more, us in. the more surefire Hall of Famer, which I think is going to be Kyle Pitts. So you you give Arthur Smith a couple years with Matt Ryan before uh, you draft the quarterback? You know, or I'm gonna say at least one more year. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's a big fan of uh, Matt Ryan. And actually, as a matter of fact, now that you're talking about Arthur Smith, I gotta show you something real quick. Let me pull this up. That's you in 20 years. Me. Yes. No, oh, dear God. <laughs> Maybe 25. Pray for years. me, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Let's oh, go. my goodness. I'm happy with it. I can get behind it. Look at him. I'm wearing my Green Bay colors. Green Bay Packers <laughs> colors, but it does not matter because Kyle Pitts is officially going to be an Atlanta Falcon. Ladies and gentlemen, Pitts to the Falcons brings a whole new dynamic to that offense. And you may say to yourself, like, what does that mean for the Falcons' offense? Why do they need to do that? Because they already had Hayden Hurst have a very decent season. Yeah. Why do you need to bring in Kyle Pitts? Listen, people don't understand the fact of depth, yes, but also having a future Hall of Famer. You're really going to settle for someone that had 600 yards and maybe five touchdowns and give up what could be a, a potential 10, 15-year veteran in the NFL? He's so unique. So what is special about Kyle is he can line up anywhere. He can line up at tight end. You can put him out. Yeah. You know, corner can't guard him. Deep or linebacker can't guard him. So it's like, how do you guard this guy? The question is, you don't. You don't <laughs> stop him. He's gonna get his yards. He's gonna get his catches. And so with Hayden Hurst there, you know, it obviously makes things difficult having both of those guys on at the uh, same time. But if you look at Arthur Smith's offenses, he loves two tight end sets. Oh, yeah. So he's going to fit in perfectly, and, you know, he's, he's a matchup nightmare. And you look at the top offenses in the league, and we got Kansas City, we got Green Bay, and you look at the tight ends that they have, you know, uh, Travis Kelsey, Tanya had a great year, uh, San Francisco with Kittle. So having a good tight end, obviously, is – very valuable in today's NFL.